Hi, I'm Shannon. I'm a student at the University of West Florida. I am pursuing a master's um, in English, I'm hoping to specialize in composition and rhetoric. Ever since I was very young, I've been fascinated and in love with literature. Um, it's one of the reasons why I pursued a BA in English um, ever, ever since I went to college, and I've, I've continued on with it in the master's. And I really enjoy teaching, and I, I just love everything about it, and that's why I want to pursue a PhD um, in English literature. Um, I have chosen composition and rhetoric as my specialty, ideally because of the focus on writing and uh, also just that, that teaching aspect that comes along with it. Um, so my goal is to ultimately teach at a college level, um, ideally with a PhD. <laughs> Typically in the master's program you can expect to take a, a wide variety of courses um, from critical theory, which is very relevant, um, to even pulp studies and modern culture, print culture. Um, courses in Romanticism, Chaucer, there, there's so many options and what, what's really nice is that you can often find each semester things that appeal to your own interests that you can pursue that are also going to help you fulfill your degree requirements. Um, at, typically it takes about two years to finish your master's degree um, and at the end of that um, you'll have a semester where you can pretty much just kind of take your time and write a master's thesis and that's what you would do to complete your master's degree. My favorite part of the program is how honestly how much you learn and how much you change as you learn you really do um, I find myself I came to college a little bit later in life and I found myself uh, growing up even more when I pursued my master's degree um, also another wonderful uh, aspect about this program is that you really do have access um, to the people who are teaching you and that's a wonderful relationship and it's, it's a give-and-take relationship and you, you feel like you collaborate and you get to work well with people by far one of the most challenging aspects of getting a degree like this is um, it's, it's pretty labor intensive. Um, you do a lot of reading, you do a lot of research, you do a lot of work. So um, for most of my friends, um, myself included, what we tend to complain the most about is just how much time we invest in this. And um, we usually have little jokes about how we're like hermits just surrounded by papers. For example, um, for a regular three credit hour graduate class, um, you're going to meet once a week for three hours, but you're going to do about nine hours of work outside just for that one course um, to do it well and, and to really know, know your stuff. <laughs> so that, that, that can be very challenging, that kind of time commitment. It, it's also, it, it's kind of challenging for me also the fact that I have a, a family as well. So being, the, the amount of time that I invest into to my education and feeling somewhat separated from my family in this process has, has been challenging for me, but at the same time it's incredibly rewarding um, and it certainly gets me more involved. Um, setting that example for my children is incredibly important for me, especially as the first person my family would ever go to college. Um, so I would, I would say those are the most challenging aspects of the program. What I wish someone had told me before I started the MA program, honestly, was how much fun it was going to be. Um, I was under the impression that I was, I was, it was very daunting uh, decision to make and I actually thought about not going for my master's because I just envisioned it to be this really laborious process and it's actually turned out to be um, incredibly fun and rewarding. Um, I can't count the number of times uh, I, I just enjoy getting together with my friends who are also graduate students and the kind of work and collaborations that we do and there's just so much fun that is derived from that. Um, and my advice to other students who are thinking about pursuing a degree uh, particularly a master's degree in the English program, is to uh, really get to know uh, the English professors that you're currently working with. You know, talk to them and bounce your ideas back and let them know exactly what you want and what you're thinking of and you will be just amazed at the amount of advice and encouragement um, that they provide. Uh, some other aspects that I think a student should keep in mind when they're thinking about applying for a master's program is the process that's involved in applying. It is a process. It's, it's not a terrible process, but it does require certain steps. Um, the first step is to really research the program that you're interested in going to, um, regardless of the institution, but just really go online, peruse the sites, see what the professors are teaching, see what your interest is, and see if your interests coincide with that. Um, it's also important to get those packages and things together 
um, in time for the deadlines for each institution that you're looking at. And a part of that is getting letters of recommendations from your um, the professors that you're currently working with. Um, a good idea when you're asking for letters of recommendations, which actually wish someone had told me, is that when you generally write an email to a professor asking about a letter of recommendation, um, you just kind of assume that they remember you. Well, they teach a lot of students, so it's usually good to kind of list the name of the course you took with them, maybe the extracurricular activities that you've done at the university. You know, basically provide a little bio of who you are so it kind of triggers their memory. And, um, and also ask them with, that, with a good amount of time, like not like, hey, I need this next week, um, because they have really busy schedules too. So kind of allow about a month's worth of time when you're asking for a letter of recommendation so that they can do it at their own speed. And, and it'll really pay off because um, the nicer you are to them, the nicer the letters of recommendations are.